The passenger side rearview mirror of a car is a convex spherical mirror with an 18 meter radius of curvature. An SUV behind the car in the right lane is now 27 meters from the mirror. A. Find the location and the magnification of the SUV's image in that mirror. B. Is the image real or virtual, upright or inverted? It is a spherical mirror with radius 18 meters. That means the focal length is half the radius, which is half the 18. But because this is a convex mirror, the focal length is negative because a convex mirror does not focus light. It diverges light instead. So the focal length is negative 9 meters. First, I'm going to use ray tracing to find the image of the SUV. The focal length is negative 9 meters, so here's the focal point, focal point, and the, since this uh, SUV is 27 meters away, that's three times the focal length away. For ray tracing, I have to draw two rays, and I'm going to start with the ray that is uh, parallel to the principal axis, so the paraxial ray. Now, where do you think this ray is going to go? The paraxial ray is going to get reflected and go to the focal point. Except for this is a convex mirror, so it actually diverges the light. So the reflected ray is not going to go to the focal point, but the extension of the reflected ray will go to the focal point. So this light ray is going to get reflected away from the center and uh, its extension will go to the focal point. So that's the reflected ray. The second ray I'm going to draw is going to go to the center of the mirror and it is going to get reflected symmetrically because it has to follow the law of reflection. So this ray is going to get reflected symmetrically Now, of course, these two rays will never meet, but their extension would meet over here. So if I draw the extension, they meet right there, and that's where the image is. And that's the tip of the arrow, so the arrow looks like that. It is a smaller, upright image. It may be hard to pinpoint the location of the image, but we know that the image is behind the mirror. And it is formed by the ray extensions, so the image must be virtual. And uh, we can see that it is uh, upright. Now I'm going to use the mirror equation to find the specific location of the image and the magnification. So this is uh, 1 over the O plus 1 over the i equals to 1 over f. The object distance is 27. We don't know the di. We're looking for di, and the focal length is negative 9. So 1 over di must equal to 1 over negative 9 minus 1 over 27. So this gives us negative 4 over 27. So di is negative 6.75 meters. When we find a di that is negative, that means the image is a virtual image. And because a virtual image is formed by the ray extension and a mirror reflects light, that means the ray extension must be behind the mirror. So if we have a virtual image formed by a mirror, that means this image must be behind the mirror. And it is 6.75 meters behind the mirror. So it's 6.75 meters behind the mirror because this is formed by the ray extension. No real light rays reach behind the mirror. Now let's find the magnification. The magnification equation is 
the HI over HO, which is also the negative DI over DO. It's negative. DI is negative 6.75. The DO is 27. So this gives us a positive number because the two negatives cancel and positive 0.25. A magnification that is positive means uh, the image is uh, upright. Which means, uh, since this is negative, that means if the eye is negative, the image must be upright. The eye is negative means it's virtual image. So if it's a virtual image, it must be upright. And this 0.25 means uh, the image is uh, one fourth in size. As you can see, just for problem solving purpose, we did not have to bother to do the ray tracing for this problem. The equations are enough for us to answer all the questions. I did the ray tracing just for some extra practice. On the AP exam, it is not uncommon to see ray tracing related questions. Here I have a passenger side rear view mirror. It says the objects in mirror are closer than they appear. For a normal car, only the passenger side rear view mirror is a convex mirror with a message like this. The driver side mirror and the rear view mirror on the windshield are both normal plane mirrors. For the passenger side mirror, such as the one we see in this problem, we end with a smaller upright image. So when we look into the mirror and we see this small SUV, the smaller image causes us to associate it with an SUV that is farther away than it really is. Hence the warning message. So why don't we just use a plain mirror like the other rear view mirrors? Because a convex mirror gives us a wider view. And a wider view is more important for the passenger side.